Hey everybody! So my video today is a little bit different than anything I normally do. Usually I'm shooting beauty videos, but today is my birthday and I thought I would do a kind of a birthday haul and let you guys see a different side of me. I'm actually really geeky. I like animes, I like books, I like geeky movies, I like to play video games. Like, I'm really, really geeky when I'm not in front of the camera. So I thought I would kind of let you guys see that side of me because that's a lot of what I got for my birthday. I did get one beauty product, so we'll probably start with that one and then move on from there. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of see what you guys think of the other side of me and just kind of realize that I'm a real person and I have hobbies and interests outside of what I'm sharing on my channel. So I might start to incorporate some of that if you guys like that. So here we go. So the first thing I'm going to go over is my beauty product that I got. I got a beautiful Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. It's called Petal 2. It's in their Shimmer Wash eyeshadows. It is this beautiful mauve pink. It's really, really gorgeous. I'm actually wearing it on my lid today kind of as a transition shade because it is almost my skin tone. Like, it's swatched right there, but you can't even see it. And I really like that because it works well. It's something I'll get a lot of use out of because it's really not shimmery it's more satin so I don't mind that in my crease so anyways I'm really enjoying this puppy brown shadows are expensive so I like when I get them as presents let's just say that all right so let's move on to the other side of me the more geeky side well this is very practical my husband loves to give me practical gifts and I love that he does so this first thing is actually for my channel here he got me a mount for my phone so I can mount my phone on a tripod so I'm not always having to shoot videos from my laptop I can kind of shoot from anywhere which is really really nice if it's my phone great I have a Galaxy Note 4 which I love who cares if it's huge like I got over the hugeness in like a day it's fantastic my favorite thing ever and then it's also got a lovely little Bluetooth remote to go with it so I can turn it on and off and I don't even have to like get up and edit all that out so Yay, my husband thinks of everything. <laughs> so let's kind of do a couple of these things together because they kind of go together. So those of you who are familiar with the anime fairy tale will be very familiar with these things. But if you're not, it's about wizards and all sorts of fun little things. So this is one of the little characters. His name is Happy, and this is a stuffed little version of him with his wings all spread. Yes, he is a blue cat. And I think he is adorable. He's just so sweet. He had so much life and fun to the show. Adds some lighthearted moments to some heavy places. And so I've just always kind of been attached to him. And so this is a little hanging version of him. I'm not sure where I'm going to hang him yet. We'll figure it out. But he's cute and I like him lots. I was really excited when I saw him in the box. All right. I also got the fairy tale emblem as a vinyl car decal. Um, the one that I, my husband got me for Christmas is peeling off really bad. So I was, I'm really excited to get this one. I think this one will hold up a little better. Um, it's just made a little bit different than the other one. The other one was more of a sticker and this one's more vinyl, which is meant to stay a little better. So I'm really excited to get this on my car. I haven't decided whether I'm going to put it like by my driver's side door or on the back where the old one was. I'm still mulling back and forth. We'll see what happens. All right. So... My family and my husband, we all like to order things from Amazon. So a lot of my birthday was ordered from Amazon. I create an Amazon wish list just so anybody can reference at any time. And my younger brother had picked this out for me. This is the fairy tale emblem in the form of a necklace. So if you ever see me that wearing that in videos when I shoot, that's kind of what it's from. It's from this anime, and I absolutely adore it. If you're at all interested, go ahead and check it out. There's a the first 50-ish episodes on Netflix, and that'll kind of give you a good taste. After that, you'd probably have to go to Crunchyroll because it's all um, just subtitles after that. That's all that's dubbed in English that we know of yet. So anyways, as soon as this gets here, I'll probably be wearing it and not saying much about it, but I'll be wearing it. That's for sure. All right, kind of on the whole anime line of things, there's another anime I love called Sword Art Online which the first season of that is also on Netflix, completely dubbed in English. You should definitely check that one out. That one's not quite as lighthearted. It's a little more heavy, a little more emotional. Anyways, I absolutely adore it. And my husband found this. Well, I found it, and he got it off my wish list. But it's a fantastically huge wallet. The 
the swords from the show are on the front. And it's massive. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's huge little pockets everywhere. I mean, I'm really excited to actually switch everything out into this wallet because it'll get a lot of use. Um, so I like to play games on my Nintendo 3DS. I got my own. It's an XL. It's the one that looks like the old um, Nintendo controllers. <laughs> it just makes me happy to have it. Anyways, so I also like to play games on that, and I'm, I've am i played a lot of Pokemon, so I have a lot of those, and I'm running out of room in my case that I currently have for my DS to hold games, and so now I've got this great case to hold my games, and it's actually got one of the Pokemon, it's Eevee, and all its different evolutions it can have on the front, and I really love it. It's just adorable, one of my favorites. They're kind of like little dog, almost little wolf kind of things. They're just cute. It's hard to explain what they are if you don't know what I'm talking about, but I really like this. It's going to hold a lot more than the one I had originally picked out for my list. So yay for my husband who thought ahead on that because <laughs> I'm just going to keep collecting games. It's kind of bad that way. In this tube, I'm not going to open it right now, but there is this lovely vinyl quote from Doctor Who. Doctor Who is like one of my fandom geeky things that I just absolutely adore. I'll put an insert of it here in the frame, but um, it's got the TARDIS and it's got this quote and it's one of my favorites from the show. It's absolutely fantastic. And I'm really excited. It's huge. So I think I'm going to end up putting it in my library kind of area. That's another video I thought about doing. If you ever want to see what's in my reading library or like what I'm reading currently, I can do videos like that too. So just let me know below. But once this is up, believe me, I will do a small shot of it and just say, hey, for those who watched my birthday haul video, here's where I put it. So I'm excited to get that up. Another practical thing that I got was this lovely dry erase board calendar. My husband likes to ask me what's going on tonight. And now I can just say, go check the calendar because it's dry erase so I can use it. And it's funny because who he ordered it from accidentally sent us two. So we're feeling pretty special here for a minute. And so I think I might actually use them both and do two months at a time because sometimes I need to know what's going on, you know, six weeks out or something for work stuff. So um, I'm really kind of excited to utilize these because then once one month is all used up, I can just clean that off and do the month ahead of the month that's already done. So it'll kind of circulate in stuff that way. And so I'm, I'm really kind of excited. My husband said he was the most worried to give me that gift. He was afraid it was too practical, but I'm going to get so much use out of it. It's fantastic. All right, so on to some more fun kind of things. This one isn't really geeky, but it's beautiful, so I have to show it. So this is a swimsuit cover-up. It's beautiful. My parents got it in Natal, Brazil when they were there, and... It is so soft, it is so nice. I love green, so green is a fantastic color. It's got a little bit of orange, it's got some pretty detail there, let me. It's just gorgeous. So I'm excited. I don't really swim very often, but when I travel I usually take a swimsuit, so I like to pack a cover up as well because I am not a tiny girl, so I like to cover things up. <laughs> All right. So, I've just got one more stack of things and then we're done. I got very, very spoiled. I'm very blessed and very lucky. So, first things first is the old 60s version of Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. It was on DVD and it makes me happy to own this because I have so many childhood memories of singing along with this and watching it. And my dad remembers having a crush on Leslie Ann Warren when, she, when he was younger and... It's just one of those things that is very nostalgic for me. So when we start our family, I'm excited to share this with my own kids. All right. Now, the rest of what I have are books. I really love to read. I mean, I just hosted book club at my house this last week. Um, yes, I'm part of a book club. <laughs> but I also like to read things outside of book club. So this gives me a whole new stack to read or reread, and I'm really excited. So let's just dig in. So the first one is The Princess Bride, the actual book. By William Goldman. If you have not read this book, you must. If you loved the movie, I promise it doesn't ruin it. It just enhances it. They are both good for different reasons. You get more details out of this. You get to know Buttercup's parents, like, and why she is revered as so beautiful, like, what happens with all of that. It's, 
it's hilarious. It's awesome. Like, you need to read this book. It will make you happy. I promise. All right, the next one, I have to admit, I've never read this book. All of you geeks out there will be very mad at me. But it is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I just never have gotten around to reading it. So now that I have my own copy, mm. it's one of those things that I need to make sure I read. So it's going to go on my nightstand, so it's on my high list of things to read. All right. So these next two are um, kind of companion books. And they're more religious. Um, I am LDS, for those of you who don't know. That's a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or Mormon. Um, if that bothers you, I'm sorry. But I have my beliefs, and I won't force them on you. It's not who I am. Um, but I hope that doesn't keep you from watching my channel. So these two books go together. So the first one is Eve and the Choice Made in Eden. Um, it kind of talks about why Eve made the choice she did to eat the fruit and all of those kind of things if you're familiar with Adam and Eve from the Bible. And then this is the companion book of Eve and the Mortal Journey. So this is what happens after they leave Eden. I'm sure these are fiction, but it's kind of about becoming strong and becoming the woman that you need to be. So I'm really kind of excited to, to read them and to delve into them, and I'll let you know what I think. All right, the last two also go together. So... I love the Lunar Chronicles, but when I got Cinder, I wasn't sure I was going to love him, so I just got it on my Kindle. And I really wanted a hard copy because I decided I liked the series enough that the next two I have in um, I have in hard copies, you know. Well, these are paperback, but you know what I mean, in a physical copy rather than a digital copy. So I'm really excited that I got Cinder so I can just kind of have the whole series because... This is one I would go back to and read over and over and over again. I really enjoy this series a lot. And if I think I'll ever read it again, I always make sure I have hard copies. Um, and then the last one is from that same series. This is the only one I haven't read yet. This is Ferris. This is the fourth book, but it's kind of almost a spin-off book. This is Levana's story, so it's not your main storyline. The last one in the main storyline comes out this fall. It's winter. Like... No, Thanksgiving time, so you could get it for Christmas. But I'm really excited to get around to reading this one. I mean, she's a character that's always kind of baffled me in a lot of ways. You know, I've never understood why she does what she does, so maybe getting a little background on her will help me figure out what I see in the book series. So, anyways, this has gotten very long, but that's everything. <laughs> Um, I'm very blessed to have so many people that love me. Oh, I have a friend that brought over a, a photo frame where it's just got the, the strands that have clothespins on them to just hang pictures that you can change out all the time and where I love to take pictures so much. If anybody follows me on Instagram, you know how much I love to take pictures. Um, is one of those things where I could change a lot of those out, you know, keep them, change them out every couple months so that the most current photos are in there. So I'm really excited to get a hold of that and get into that and get some stuff printed out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, if you'd like to see more of the geeky side of me, just please comment below and let me know, and I'll start filming those as well. Um, if you didn't like it, also let me know so I know whether to, you know, just start a separate channel to do this kind of stuff or to kind of mix the two together. So anyways, have a beautiful day and I'll see you later.